In this episode, we're going to be taking the next step. We're going to be looking at laying out your program and writing it down. In the previous episodes, we've figured out what we are going to do as our work sets and our work weight. We're now going to create our program. The program is going to consist of trying to do three sets of five repetitions. So you're going to try to do your five repetitions that you did in the last episode, but you're going to do that three times. Each set is going to be completed and you need to focus on trying to complete the entire 15 repetitions. One of the beginner mistakes is not resting enough between your sets. In a strength-based program, you want to make sure that you are resting enough so you can attempt the next set at 100%. You don't want to be fatigued when you attempt that set. You want to make sure that you have everything you could possibly have to do those five repetitions. It's common to have six, seven, eight minutes of rest until you make sure that you are absolutely ready to go. Don't go if you feel that you have even a little bit of fatigue. Make sure that your body is still warm, but you are not fatigued. So we've done our five by three program. We've written this out, we've completed it. We are now going to repeat this every 48 to 72 hours. The way that your body will work is you are going to do the training. You will spend a period of time in the fatigue state and then you're going to be looking at a recovery state and that recovery we want to make sure is completed and as your recovery has completed you want to then train again. Roughly two to three days is how much space you want to leave between your sessions for you to get stronger with this training. If you don't give it enough rest and you don't actually recover, what's going to happen is the fatigue is going to build up and you are not going to feel it perhaps in the first week or two or even month. You will feel it further down the line as the fatigue compounds. Similarly, if you leave it too long, so past the 72 hour, what is going to happen is your body is going to revert back to or slowly revert back to your previous strength level that you had before you did the training. So you want to, at the 72 hour mark, you're building on the strength levels that you had from the previous session. So the gains that you had created from the previous session, you're going to build upon on the next one and then on to the next one. So the key to linear progress and consistent progress is to have a very small increment in the training sessions. If you manage to do all 15 repetitions, you are going to then increase only by half to one kilo up into the next session. Once you do that session, again, if you complete the 15, you increase again. On the flip side, if you are unable to complete the 15 repetitions that you've set yourself, then you need to stay on that weight or go back a step until you can do that 15. You need to be able to complete the 15 repetitions until you progress. There is no point in going further up until you have completed the 15 reps. So something that is important to know is whether the program is working or not. Now, to check whether it is or not, we need to repeat the 1RM checks. And all we need to do is every two or three months is to go back to doing that 1RM session where we just start from low again and start to build up and try to figure out what our one repetition max is. Hopefully, if you've been doing the program correctly and you've been doing that very small, steady increase in weight, you will find that the actual level of your 1RM would have increased from, let's say, the red band, which we had in our example, up maybe a kilo or two to make ourselves stronger. And we can see that we are actually getting stronger 
using that 1RM value. Attached to this episode is a template that I've created for you to give you an idea of how your program should look. Now, it's going to start looking like this, but as we kind of build up with the warm-ups and cooldowns as well, it's going to get slightly more complicated. But for now, we're just going to stick with this where we can see what our sessions are going to look like for the meat of this session training session. So here you can see an example of one of the training sessions and here I've laid out what you want to be doing with your sets and your reps. Now to begin with you can see that each of these big columns, so you have week one here, is going to go down from the Monday into Wednesday and then into Friday. So don't forget that we have those two to three days rest and we're able to um, recover from the previous session before we do the next. Now here in each row you have what the session consists of. So for the first one we've worked out that our work set is 42 kilos so using the band and we're going to be doing three sets of five repetitions. So we're going to do five reps we're going to rest and then we're going to do another five reps, we're going to rest and then we do another final third set of five reps. So we will record down in these boxes every time we do one repetition that equals 42. So if we do five repetitions Actually, instead of just saying that we've done five in here, what we're actually going to do is record what we call the volume. So the volume is the number of repetitions times the weight. So actually, it will be for 210. So 210 is 5 times 42. And Every time we manage to do the five, we're going to record in the next volume. So say set two, we do 210, we put that in, and then finally another 210 into the third set. So on Monday, we can see that we have managed to do every rep for each set. OK, so that would happen on Monday and then on Wednesday we repeat the process. So we know that we have 42 kilos as our uh, weight, three sets, five reps, and we repeat the process. So say we do that again, we're able to do um, the five reps, five reps, five reps. OK, and then we can move into Friday. So something that is actually you can see here is I've done the same program even though I completed that all five all 15 reps I've completed so actually what we're going to do is we're going to use the adjusted weight so instead of doing 42 so let's say we actually go to 43 so I'm going to put 43 in here 43 43 and that means that the volume actually goes up to 213 213 213 okay so we're actually we've done more for the volume and we can record that down with this adjusted weight. So as we complete the week and we have managed to make our way over to Friday we're now upping the weight again from 43, up one to 44, 44, 44. And we've only been able to manage 14 of the 15 reps in uh, on this Friday session. So let's say that on the first set, you could do all of the five reps. The second set, again, all five reps. But for the third set, unfortunately, you didn't make the fifth repetition, this is totally fine. So instead of 216, it's actually 172. Okay, so it's 44 times 4, not 5. So this is inevitably going to happen where you're going to miss a rep here or there. So what happens is on the next training session, so we're going to go up onto week two on the Monday, the following Monday, we're going to do the same adjusted weight. OK, so we're not going to increase. We're going to put the adjusted weight here as 44, 
44, 44, okay? And again, we're just doing the same training session. So this would be 216. We managed to do all five reps in there. 216, yes. And then we managed to do the third set again, 216. We did all five reps, okay? So now we can progress on again with our weight. So instead of 44, on the next set, we now move up to 45, okay? 45. 45 and now what's going to happen is the new volume is going to change to 225 okay and we just carry on doing the same thing and we keep increasing our weight and putting in our volume values in here with these values let's say for instance that on this monday session actually what happened was we hit the 14 of the 15 again so this actually became 172 and actually it just repeated itself and then for the next session again the same thing happens so you find that actually the values just sit there and you kind of feel like progress is not going anywhere what this is saying is the difference between the 43 to the 44 was too large and you need to go a little bit more granular in terms of the weight. So when we can do this, so instead of 43 to 44, that step up is too big. So what you can actually do is you go back down a little bit and instead of 43 uh, to 44, you do 43 to 43.5. Or even smaller numbers, you could you could do 43.2, 43.1, and you go up in smaller steps. This is perfectly fine, and it means that you can start on that linear progression upwards again. Don't stick on the same amount and the same numbers constantly. If you find that three sessions in a row happen the same, then I would suggest going back to the 43 and then granularly increase a smaller amount so the increment is a, a smaller you could go to 43.5 and see if you can do that session again because you don't want to stick on one value and just keep hitting the same amount it just means that it was too big of a jump for you so go back a little bit and increase with smaller amounts lastly you don't need anything quite as elaborate as this. Having a simple sheet of paper and pencil or a notepad or your mobile phone to record down what you do while you're training is all you need. You only need to know how many reps and sets you do and what weight you're doing it at. As long as you have an accurate record, you can then take it home and fill in something like this, a sheet like this, and put in your volumes afterwards. The reason that having something like this is good is because we can do some simple maths and some statistics and analytics on the values at a later date and we can see our progress much, much easier.